In this video, we will be learning how to graph an absolute value equation in the plane advanced. To begin, recall that an absolute value of a real number is its distance from zero on the number line. In this case, the absolute value of negative 4 equals 4 because the distance between negative 4 and 0 is 4. Although in this example only a single number was bounded by the absolute value signs, there are many examples where equations may contain a function instead. Given the equation y equals negative one-half absolute value of the quantity x plus 5 plus 7, let's walk through the steps required to graph it. First, let's examine the general form of this equation to help us visualize the graph. Do you remember what happens to the shape of the graph when changing the values for a, b, and c? I think so, since it's similar to the vertex form of quadratic equations. I believe the a changes the slope of the graph, b translates the graph left to right, and the c translates the graph up or down. You're correct! It is very similar to graphing a quadratic equation. Now, first, let's find the vertex of the equation. We can do this by setting the quantity x plus 5 equal to 0. This will solve for the x value of the vertex. Oh, so now that we know the x value of the vertex is negative 5, we plug it into the original equation and solve for y, right? Exactly, let's do it. Plugging in negative 5 for x, we get that y equals 7. Now we know that our vertex is located at negative 5, 7 in the coordinate plane. What do we do next? Do we plot it on the plane? Not yet. First, we need a couple other points on the graph to accurately plot the equation. Since our x value of the vertex is negative 5, let's pick two x values on either side of the vertex. Next, plug both negative 4 and negative 6 into the original equation. As you can see, we plugged in negative 4 to get a y value of 6.5. Then, we plugged in negative 6 and got the same y value. This makes sense because absolute value equations are v-shaped and symmetrical about the vertex. Now can we graph the vertex in these two points? Yeah! To graph this absolute value equation, let's first plot the vertex and the two points we found using the feature that allows us to plot a point in Alex. We will begin with the vertex. Negative 5 for x and 7 for y, and then press plot point. We will now do the same for the other two points that we found. Negative 4 for x and 6.5 for y. Then negative 6 for x and 6.5 for y. Now we'll use the line segment feature. We will first place at the vertex and then the right point. Then another line segment on the left side from the vertex to the left point. Now we have graphed our absolute value equation.